<laughs> Hi. Am I on camera? Yeah. Welcome to Adventure 2000. 30 hours to Yosemite. And we're now in Iowa. Where, where I'm beginning to believe that in the United States there is more corn than there are trees. And behold, the first thing we've seen in Iowa, other than corn, a huge windmill. Great. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. We're in Nevada, I think. Yeah. See, so look out here. If I can hold it still. And if I can focus. It is 9 a.m. Michigan time. Or 6 a.m. Pacific time. This is my first. Uh, first time being in Pacific time zone. Woo yeah. We're both very tired. We drove all the all night straight through. Although Jeff did more driving than me. Yeah, easy. <laughs> to hold still. Let's go that way, huh? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Since, since that's the only way to go. Okay, I wanted to show the viewers what telephone wiring and poles used to look like. <laughs> but still do here in Nevada. Campsite. We're both very tired. We're glad to be here. The car did well. We parked it in the shade. It's be nice. Our tent is back there. Here's where we have to put our food. Because I guess the bears break into the car. So. We wish you could smell the pines. Yes, it's very nice here. We wish we weren't so tired so we could appreciate it more. But it's kind of nice up here because there are no bugs. Well, there are some bugs, but there are no mosquitoes or flies or anything. So that's kind of nice. We haven't found any bugs with fireworks. Yeah, that's good. And there's the kids. <laughs> See you later. It's on. Good morning. Today, we're going to free climb that. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to hike to a waterfall. Tomorrow we do rock climbing. And our rock climbing tomorrow will be nothing like that. We hope. Yeah, we hope. But we're going to walk to uh, Vernal Fall and then maybe Nevada Fall. And it, on, the, on the map it says that it's a strenuous. Yeah. Strenuous. Uh, strenuous, climb. but not very far. Yeah, not very far. Only a thousand feet up. So, so we'll see you later. Here's our destination, Vernal Falls, and if we have enough strength, we'll go to Nevada Falls.
to Masterpiece Waterfalls. <laughs> I'm your host, Jeff Huss, as well as the cameraman, Steve Blackmore. Hello. <laughs> and I can't be any more intelligent than this. Oh, uh, okay. I can't think so. We have passed, what was the name of that fall? Uh, Vernal Fall, and up there, wow, that zoom is really fast, is uh, uh, Nevada Fall. Yeah, I'm not used to your camera. So it's good temperature. We have dry air, so we don't get too sweaty, which is kind of nice. We just get dry lips. One thing we forgot to mention to the viewers is that we drove how many miles? Uh, 1900. 1900 to get all the way out here, which is the farthest I've ever been. Yeah, it took about 30 hours. Yosemite is a very nice place to go because it is so high that there are no mosquitoes. And it's very dry up here too. Which is kind of bad when you're sleeping, but it's good for other times, I guess. And we will see you later. Okay, turn around. Go over there and turn around. Why? Because I, I, I have to show your butt water bottles. <laughs> no. Why? <laughs> because I don't, I don't want you to show my bags. <laughs> you can shake them around. No. Go do the booty dance. <laughs> You're not gonna do the booty thing? No. Wait, this is really dusty. Should get this thing clean. That's how he does it. Commentary by Steve. <laughs> Here we are atop Nevada Falls. Can't see very much, there's a lot of people bathing in the sun. Maybe on the way down we'll give you a little better look. It's very popular up here, we just finished lunch. And uh, we'll probably walk around here a little bit and then head down. It was a good hike. It was strenuous in parts, but we took it easy. I think we're ready to go rock climbing. take you, well we did take you with, but we forgot to turn you on. <laughs> there really wasn't a convenient time to turn <laughs> turn the camera on while we were concentrating on our lives. <laughs> yes, we, uh, we 
climbed uh, today. It was very enjoyable. We learned knots and what the different, some of the different devices do. And we learned about shoes. Yes, shoes are the key. Yeah, shoes. Good shoes with a lot of rubber on them, soft well, rubber. Good ropes are they? Yeah, I guess that's a bigger key. Yeah. The key to going up. The key to not going down is good ropes. And the key to going up is good shoes. <laughs> and um, we climbed up Swan Slab. Which was a 5.6. 5.6. And Bake Sail, which was 5.7. Actually, the one part of... Uh, Swan slab, I guess, was a five eight. Five eight, but it was only a short part of it. Right. So. And the scale goes up to sixteen, so this is about and there's nothing in the a little above average. Yet. Right. So. And there's not very even many fifties. Right. So, but uh, but it was very enjoyable. We went up a uh, up a bunch of times, and we were we did a uh, belay. And uh, we also repelled. Mm -hmm. It was fun. And now we're tired. <laughs> so we're going to wash up and go to bed. See you tomorrow. Good night. We are approaching the hills that we climbed yesterday. We were on our way out of the park and we thought it might be good to show the viewers exactly what hills we climbed yesterday. Yeah, since we forgot to show it, yeah, since we forgot we're really to show doing it. it. And we're kind of proud of our achievement, too, so we're going to show you. There's but, probably going to be another class out there, so you get to see exactly where the ropes are and how the people are doing it and everything. And you'll just be able to picture what we did yesterday. See you there. Uh, there it is. Just kidding. <laughs> well, here we are. This is actually the place that we first climbed up. It's called Swan Slab. It's not really that high. We went up in three different points. The hardest one was right there. Yeah, we started over here in this tip of this rock going up. And just a sec, we'll show the other one. And this was our grand finale called Big Sail. Maybe about, what, 100 feet, 150 feet? Something like that. And it was actually easier than our first one. But that's it. Nothing too complicated. We we all slipped and fell a couple times, but not far because we had ropes on us. We belayed in the beginning and we repelled the rest of the time. I made it the whole way. Did you go all the, all the way up without slipping? Well, yeah, well I slipped, over. but then I started over so that I could say I did the and whole thing. A couple times I had to use a rope because there were just no footholds. But, uh, yeah, that was a good climb. I would like to do it again, I think. Well, this is Fresno. Uh, we kind of missed the thing we wanted to show you. Hold on a sec. Everything around here is really dry. It's very dry, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of palm trees, which I've only ever seen now the third time in my life. It's extremely dry. I completely understand why they get forest fires out here. Welcome to the Express Loop. We're uh, here to get our oil changed in Fresno. Can we do it again? Yeah, turn it back on. I think it is on. The red light's on. Does it say record? Yeah. <laughs> it still was always on. <laughs> They're all dead.
Everything's dirt or dead around here, except for the palm trees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and oil's good, especially for us since we've traveled what over 2,000 miles. This is actually good timing. 100 miles off. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was right by the bathrooms down there. Half this size. And, uh, didn't have any trees. We're in Sequoia National Park, and I think that right there is a sequoia, one of the punier ones, actually. Yeah, it's just a baby. Uh, places we're going to see are Tunnel Log which you all probably know about. You can get to drive through it. And then we'll see the biggest tree in the park, which is over, I think, 3,000 years old. And we'll see Mount Whitney, which is the tallest mountain in the continental United States. And it's over, how big is it? 14,500 feet, something like that. So not a whole lot to see here, but can't see it anywhere else. That's one big stump. Sherman tree. I have no idea how big it is. Man, look at this crap. Unbelievable. That's all how farther out I can zoom. That's, that's the... Here we are going through without foreigners telling us we're going the wrong way. <laughs>
those are Joshua trees, and we are on our way to Death Valley. Death Valley. It is very hot. The car is very hot. There's not much else to see around here other than Joshua trees. Can you see those things from here? Yeah, sort of. Those are the Torona Pinnacles, and I guess they filmed some parts of, part or parts of some Star Wars movie out there once upon a time. I'm not sure what. They look like stalactites or something. We are now in Death Valley, and those are the first things to see. It just says that those are sand dunes. Right now, we're right at sea level. Or a little below. Yeah. The lowest point, I believe, is 262 feet below sea level, and I don't think we'll get to it. It's kind of out near a dried lake bed. Um, it's really hot outside. But we'll show you more later. Okay, just a minute. There is a model of Death Valley. Where are we? I don't know. I don't have my glasses on, so. And what is the current temperature? 112. 112, and we're how far down below sea level? Uh, 180. 180 or 190. It's only up from here. That's right. This is the furthest down we've ever been. Here you go, Dad. Four. <laughs> Negative 282 feet below sea level. Out there, right in the middle of that dried up lake bed, is the lowest point in the continental United States. Right down in there. We are not going to even attempt to walk out there. It is so hot right now. You want some bug spray? Bug spray? There's no bugs. There's no life. There's no nothing. I have found life. Where? Oh. <laughs> Way to go, Jeff. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, let's take our pictures and get out of here. This is a place called Zabrilski Point. Here we are in Las Vegas on our way back home. We have to find a place to stay. Yeah, we're gonna stay here tonight so we can get a fresh start tomorrow morning. I don't know quite the protocol for uh, finding a place to stay. Yeah, I'm never been here before. Oh, there's like a whole bunch of stuff to the right there. We're heading south through the strip. We think. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's the north end of the strip. That looks like it for a little while. I guess there's a ride at the top of that thing that shoots you up and takes you back down. I think we need to... to room available. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just find one and go in and ask. Now we can drive by a mall and make a U-turn now, see what Cafe. Our company loves this place, I bet. I think they're powered by the Hoover Dam. Yeah, they better be. Stardust. The Wayne Newton Theater. Magicians always have to have dark hair. I don't know. Yeah, I think long blonde hair. Yeah, I think they dye it to look younger. Okay. Why are we going 20? Deluxe rooms from Fort. I think is one of the shows, one of the big shows that they have. Look at the look at that whole front of that place, though. Yeah. Your ship. It's up with that. Sigrid and Roy. <laughs> They're kind of popular. Yeah. Caesar's Palace. 
unless that's another Hamas one. Free covered parking. Imperial Palace. It's huge signs. I like crap. Caesar's World. Oh, here's the mist. Like the Eiffel Tower or something. Yeah. This place is crazy. The McDonald's. Holiday Inn. I don't think I have a good grasp of your Zoom. <laughs> Everybody watching this is probably going to get seasick or something. I think I am, and I'm not watching it. to pay attention to the stop. Yeah, that's the pyramid one. It's pretty funky. The Sphinx. 